welcome to CEC lectures. Myself, Dr. Preeti Jagwani, I am from Department of Computer Science, Aribhat College, University of Delhi. Uh, so, presently we are going through our series of database management systems and we have covered, uh, you know, a few lectures of this particular series and we have understood all about the, you know, basics of uh, database management systems. And our today's agenda is about the users of database management system that is database users and basics of relational model. These two things we are going to cover in our uh, today's lecture. So, when we talk about database users as the name indicates that uh, people who are working with a database uh, are actually database users. Uh, now, if we talk about you know uh, in terms of uh, computer technology, so these users can be categorized into uh, the two categories, one is database uh, users itself or you know and another one is database administrator. So, we will be having some database users and some database administrator and together these two categories are the people who are working with databases in you know different capacities we can say. So, here as you can see on the screen this these database users are basically uh, you know of uh, I, I can say four types one is a normal uh, you know naive user then we have the application programmers then we have some sophisticated users and finally we have database administrator and as I was talking about uh, these users and administrators just now, the first three categories you know uh, are uh, collectively known as database, uh, uh, database users and the last category is about database administrator. Now, within the uh, database users if I am talking about there are actually you know there can be naive users, there can be application programmers, there can be some sophisticated users. Now, what are the uh, you know uh, we can say what are the what, what is the actually work of these users or what are the areas in which they actually interact. So, naive users basically we can say are uh, the agents or you know normal web users or normal web tellers we can say they are uh, their work or their you know kind of we can say purview is limited to the use of application interfaces. Application interfaces are given to them and they just want to use those application interfaces that is it. They do not want to get into the uh, you know basics of uh, you know uh, uh, what, what is going on the behind those application interface or how these application interfaces are made that is not the purview of a naive user. A naive user is only going to use that application interface which is provided to him or her. Another idea is about application programmers. These application programmers as the name indicates they write the application programs. These application programs are we can say are uh, the codes or the programs which are being written in order to access the database. So, application programmers are someone who are going to is someone who is going to write those application programs. Then uh, apart from application programmer, we also have some sophisticated users which came in uh, which come into the category of analyst which are going to use some sophisticated or you know delicate query uh, tools. These query use uh, query tools are actually uh, you know used uh, in order to uh, retrieve the information uh, from the database or to store the new information into the database. So, Categorically, if we talk about goal of the database system is all about retrieving or storing the information within the database and these are the users, naive users, then application programmers, then we have sophisticated users and database administrator. These all these types of users are actually you know are different people who are working uh, or who are dealing with uh, we can say uh, database, uh, database management systems. So, dive users uh, as I have told you they just use the user interface. The typical user interface is could be actually of a you know uh, is the example of a typical interface is a form. So, for example, you are going to write uh, or you are going to open a new email account. So, for the in order to open that new email account you need to fill up a form or even you are you know uh, filling any application. Uh, anywhere. So, you need to fill up a particular form. So, that form is a user interface 
and someone who is filling that particular form is actually a naive user we can say who is not having any idea about the uh, detailed functionality of uh, that form he or she just want to fill in that particular form uh, also in context of databases we can say naive users may also view uh, read uh, the reports generated from the database they are not going to generate the report they are just going to either view the report or they are going to uh, we can say read the report <coughs> application programmers uh, they can choose from many tools to develop user interfaces the basic task of an application programmer is uh, to write application programs in order to access the database and they are you know somewhat we can say uh, sophisticated computer professionals as compared to our uh, naive users uh, then sophisticated users basically they interact with the system but uh, they do not write programs, they form their request either by using a database query language, uh, what database query language I am talking about that will be covered in our upcoming sessions or we have some you know tools uh, which are dedicated for uh, analysis of data either by using those tools or by you know uh, we can say uh, uh, using a database query language they will be putting up a query, they will be putting up a question on the database and they will be you know retrieving information on the basis of that particular uh, query. So, basically analysts who are going to submit queries to explore the data in the database are uh, you know comes under the category of sophisticated users. Now, the last and the very important category which we are going to talk about is of database administrator. As the name indicates one who is you know kind of performing the function of administration is the administrator. Here in the context of database a person who is having a central control over the both the data and the programs that are written in order to access the data. That is that particular user is known as database administrator. So, a person who is having central control over both the parts, one is the data. So, in our previous lectures we have seen that this database management system actually uh, you know on a you know we can say on a very macro level if we talk about uh, is going to consider is, is uh, you know formed uh, one uh, is formed of two components, one is the data, another one is the program which are written in order to access the data. Uh, so, database uh, administrator is having central control over both. Now, what are the functions of database administrator? So, there are various functions of database administrator, we will you know we will be seeing them one by one. Uh, so, first is uh, schema definition. So, schema as I have told you is about you know we can say the logical structure of the database. So, what you know kind of uh, what all uh, attributes are going to be there, what is going to be the uh, you know constraints which are going to be put up on those uh, attributes all this comes under the uh, definition of the schema. So, basically uh, schema definition is all about creating the original database schema and this is done with the help of uh, DDL, DDL is uh, data definition language. So, by using the queries or by, by using the statements more specifically we can say by using the statements of data definition language the database administrator is going to create the original database schema which is nothing but the logical structure of the database. Uh, the second task which is to be performed by the database administrator is about uh, storage structure and access method definition. The database administrator in short we call it as DBA. Uh, DBA is going to specify some parameters which are about the physical organization of data and the in, you know many of the indices which are to be created. So, how this storage structure is going to be you know we can say uh, uh, used or implemented and some access method definitions. Uh, specifying some access method definition is also the task of uh, uh, your uh, database administrator which is DBA. Uh, then we have uh, the next task is schema and physical organization modification. So, not only the creation 
but the modification we can say whatever changes are required in the schema or whatever changes are required in the physical organization to uh, in order to accommodate the challenges or in order to accommodate the changing needs of the organization or to alter the physical organization in order to improve the performance. So, if any change is required in the definition of the schema or uh, in the physical organization that uh, change or that modification uh, doing that modification is also the task of database uh, administrator. <coughs> then we have uh, when uh, we were studying the characteristics or advantages of database we have seen that uh, role based access authorization or role based access control or authorization is one of the particular feature of database. So, who is going to you know uh, make these roles, who is going to uh, give the authorization for the data access, it is your database administrator. So, the next task which comes into the kitty of database administrator is about granting of authorization for data access. So, by granting different type of authorization, the database administrator is going to regulate uh, what all parts, what all uh, you know uh, attributes or what all uh, we can say, uh, what all portions of data uh, various users can access. So, for example, yesterday we have seen in, uh, in the previous lecture we have seen an example uh, that uh, salary, the column or the attribute of the salary is you know not shown to a naive user because of the security reason which is perfectly you know we can say desirable. Uh, so, yes, you know making these roles and authorizations or creating these roles that if a particular user is going to uh, you know uh, enter with so and so login and he is a naive user. So, then in that situation or he is not a sophisticated user from accounts, then he is uh, he or she is not given permission to access the uh, salary column. So, all these authorization and access control is to be maintained and managed by your database administrator. Uh, with all these you know uh, we can say maintenance activities we have other you know routine maintenance housekeeping task of uh, data uh, housekeeping tasks related to uh, databases. Uh, one of them is uh, uh, periodically backing up the uh, database also ensuring that enough free disk space is available for normal operations and upgrading the disk space as required. So, if disk space is going you know uh, uh, going uh, you know going down or it is the free space is going down then enough free disk space is available the ensuring that uh, is the task of database administrator and if it is not available then upgrading the disk space as per the requirement. Also monitoring the routine jobs which are running on the database and ensuring the, that the performance uh, of the database should be you know kind of we can say should stand good is actually uh, comes under the uh, routine maintenance. So, apart from you know these routine maintenance we have seen about the authorization, we have seen about the creation of a schema and also not only the creation, but the modification of uh, modification of schema and physical organization all these are the task of database administrator DBA. So, yes we can say DBA is one of the very very important users of uh, your database management system. Uh, so, in this lecture till this point we have seen all those users which are uh, the people connected to the database be it a naive uh, starting from the naive user we have covered uh, the database administrator in detail also. Now, coming to our you know uh, next topic which is about the relational model. So, in our previous class we have seen about the data models and within the data models we have seen four types of uh, data models. One is the relational data model, then we have seen uh, the data models which are related to the design of the database which is entity relationship model. Then we have seen object oriented data models and we have also seen you know a semi structured data models like extensible markup language which are XML. So, here now onwards we are going to you know uh, cover a relational model in detail. Yesterday we have seen it, but we have seen it you know very briefly. So, coming to the details of relational uh, model 
it is I can say one of the conceptually uh, one of the very simple or conceptually simple model in order to you know represent the data not only to represent the data but also relationships among the data can be represented in a very simple manner if we are going to use the relational model. Now the question comes up in the mind are there uh, you know other alternatives which are available in order to represent the data. Uh, so I can say yes there are network model and hierarchical model which are available but you know uh, they are we can say legacy models somewhat rarely used nowadays because of so many reasons one of them is uh, you know uh, lack of simplicity in those models. So relational model basically uses a collection of tables to represent both data and relationships among those data. So the idea here is to represent the data and the relationships and the relational model is uh, going to use a collection of data for this particular task. Uh, so this relational model with the help of these uh, you know tables we can say is going to uh, describe the data at all the you know uh, at the logical level at the view level and also it is uh, it is successful in abstracting abstracting away the low level details of the data storage. So first of all logical level can be described using uh, relational model view level obviously can be described using uh, relational model and also low level details of the data storage can be uh, you know abstracted away from the user. So this is basically you know we can say the structure of uh, if we want to see the structure of the relational database for that we need to uh, understand the structure of the table which is given on the screen. So here there is an uh, you know table as named as the instructor relation. Now why this is known as relation I am coming to that in a short while. So this relation here is you can see is actually having uh, four columns and some rows. So these columns are uh, ID, name, uh, department name and uh, salary. Uh, so we can say a relational database is consisting of uh, such collection of these uh, tables and each of this these kind of tables is given a unique name. So the uh, name here for this particular table is the instructor. Uh, then we have you know uh, another table which is related uh, to the uh, department and we also have a table which is representing a relationship. The third table which is having a prerequisite uh, the name uh, which is named as the prereq relationship the prereq relation having two fields or two columns we can say one is course ID and another one is prereq ID. So this is basically uh, here with the help of these three tables the example or the task here is to model a database of a let us say university. So here we have uh, instructor uh, relation which is giving the identification or which is giving the information about the uh, instructors. Uh, and the information which is given uh, about the instructor is about the ID, then name is there, then department name is there, the salary is there. Apart from that we have other two uh, you know uh, relations also which are shown here. So in one relation we have course ID, then we have title, then we have the department name and then we have the credits which is about the uh, you know uh, course relation then we have a relation of having some prerequisites. So prerequisites is uh, showing that for which particular course ID which course has to be done earlier or what is the prerequisite of that particular course. So for bio 3001 the prerequisite is bio 101 for bio 399 the prerequisite is bio 101. So basically uh, when we talk about relational data model your whole database is comprising of a collection of these type of tables and you know uh, these type of tables are not only representing the data but they are also representing 
the relationships among uh, the data. So, here in this lecture earlier we have you know uh, started with the database users and we have seen what all database users are there and what is the uh, we can say what are the task of different uh, database users and then uh, we have started with the relational model and we will be covering uh, the details of uh, relational model in our upcoming lectures. Uh, hope you have enjoyed this lecture. Here is a list of references which is being used uh, for, the, uh, for the preparation. Uh, I will see you in the next lecture till then goodbye take care.